This is why I've been so ranty about the term paraphonic uh, as it's been used since it was coined. I've been there the whole time following this, this term. And now, even though certain companies have started to put out duophonic synthesizers, they're describing them as paraphonic because they're afraid because the individual two notes aren't individually articulated. And they want some way to describe that so that people don't go to a duophonic synthesizer and say, wait a minute, there's only one articulation structure. I'm a dissatisfied customer. But like I said at the beginning of this, what companies want to do is not the same as what historians want to, or technicians want to put in place. It is inaccurate to describe a duophonic synthesizer as paraphonic because the first duophonic synthesizers ever made, for example, the Sonic 6 and the Odyssey, they were not individually articulated and we called them duophonic. It's because duophonic does not address articulation. Duophonic addresses how many notes play at once. Whether or not those notes are voices is a separate matter dealing with articulation and not note count. And so that is one of the many sources of confusion about polyphony. How is the polyphony articulated? But that's a separate conversation than how many notes does this thing play at once? So I advocate that we stop conflating polyphony with paraphony. A synthesizer isn't paraphonic, unless you're just talking about the articulation. If it plays more than two notes at a time, it's polyphonic no matter what. Now here's the thing, okay, I will talk about two synthesizers which are some of my favorite synthesizers of all time. Literally, uh, I'm so happy that synthesizer companies have finally gotten to the point where they're making analog synthesizers that are even better than the analog synthesizers in the past. Two synthesizers that I really embrace are the DSi Pro 2 and the Arturia Matrix Brute. Both of these synthesizers are incredibly powerful, modular to a degree, analog to a degree. In some cases, the Pro 2 has digital oscillators, but still, they're really powerful, great sounding synthesizers. And like the, Mono the Korg Monopoly, you can direct their four oscillators, or three oscillators in the case of the Matrix Brute, to be triggered by a digital scanning keyboard, which is to say, you can make their synthesizer polyphonic, meaning it plays more than two notes at a time. In the case of the Matrix Brute, three notes. In the case of the Pro 2, four notes. So you can play multiple notes at a time. Now, both of these companies have labeled this functionality paraphonic, because when you do that, odds are you're going to have the you're going to have the envelopes and the filters and everything set to a single function, and then those synthesizers will act like a paraphonic synthesizer. But by naming it paraphonic, it's misleading because what you're really saying is that this monophonic synthesizer now can play more than one note at a time, more than two notes at a time. This monophonic synthesizer can suddenly play polyphonic amounts of notes. So I feel like that's what these functions should have been labeled. But I think these companies, just like Moog Music did with the Sub 37, are afraid that people, if they see the word polyphonic, they will mistakenly assume that it means that all of the notes are articulated when they're not. That's a reasonable concern, but that's a marketing concern and not an accurate concern. If a person comes to that conclusion and then is dissatisfied, it's because of their ignorance of what the term polyphonic means. And I'm sorry to say that everyone's probably mad now, but really it's gotten to the point where m much of the internet thinks that polyphonic and paraphonic are two different distinct things of the same thing. And they're not. So there's a valid concern on the part of these companies that are like, hey, we need to call this paraphonic so people don't freak out. Fair enough, but it's not accurate. And it's especially not accurate in the case of the, the Pro 2 and the Matrix Brute because you can actually control the amplitude of all of the voices independently. There's two different filters, so you're not sharing a single filter and there's multiple uh, iterations of envelopes. So literally, it's not paraphonic in the way that the term has been falsely used for all of these years. So you can see why it gets very, very confusing.